and working with first graders all day made me feel a little bit anxious. And knowing that I had this shield test in my back pocket, knowing that each week I was being tested to see um, and to make sure I was healthy, again, not only for my students and my kiddos at home, but for the baby was just so incredibly important to me. It made me feel like really better about being at school and I felt safer knowing that COVID probably wouldn't spread as fast. Scaling up to almost 7,000 people in the building on any given day, we are just so grateful for having a wonderful partner uh, to keep our employees healthy and safe. Our most important mitigation strategy was having the ability to screen our students on a weekly basis. Um, and I really think it made the parents and again the teachers feel really good. We decided we would do everything we could to protect as many, as many people uh, as we could. And we realized um, that fast, accurate, repeated testing was the way to get out ahead of this virus. You're trying to figure out what's going on with this pandemic stuff, how they're gonna work through the kids doing uh, school at home. Hard lockdowns um, and, and really, you know, no vaccine in sight. Testing was, you know, hit and miss. You know, it would take days, sometimes a week or more, to get a, a PCR test result. It looks like it's spreading through saliva. It spreads when people talk. So Marty Burke and Paul Hergenrother, who had been longtime friends and collaborators in the chemistry department, had already put together an amazing process to try to find a test that would work. The unique saliva test invented by SHIELD Illinois has been employed as a way to prevent COVID outbreaks and at some of those schools, the results have been nothing short of extraordinary. We proved uh, that it worked, and it was fast, it was reliable, it was easy to administer. And I think the general feeling from the entire organization, from the institutional leadership on down, was that if we did not avail ourselves of these capabilities and this technology um, to help protect the public good, that that would be a complete moral failure on our part. We were absolutely building Shield Illinois as we were trying to figure out what to do. You're an epidemiologist. What do we do? How often do we test people? How do we choose who to test and who not to test? So step one for me was finding some really talented individuals to be able to help in pulling this off. Processing, the sorting, the you know, the delivery, the distribution to the, to the labs, and then, you know, they have their own processes of, of testing. For us to expand that testing beyond the campus, we needed authorization from the FDA, an emergency use authorization. Once the EUA came through, then all of a sudden the state of Illinois was 100% on board, and then they were pushing us out to the schools and letting folks know that it was essentially the standard. Three events occurred that changed life as we knew it at SHIELD Illinois. The first is when the state offered free testing for every K-12 school in the state. The second is when the Test to Stay program was implemented, which allowed students and staff to stay in school as long as they tested negative for COVID-19. And finally, the third event that occurred was when the governor's office issued an executive order requiring all unvaccinated faculty and staff to participate in a weekly screening program. And after all that, the demand for our testing program exploded. Not only were we able to turn them around quickly, but we were also able to turn them around um, from a quality perspective as well. Um, so that was something I was always extremely proud of. Um, you know, especially labs doing, you know, somewhere near 13000 a day. The amount that we saved the state, you know, we estimate was probably, you know, our, the cost of our test was probably one half to one third of the cheapest other alternatives. So that translated to, you know, likely hundreds of millions of dollars of savings for the taxpayers of, of Illinois. I am extremely proud of what our team has accomplished, given, given this sense of urgency and commitment to the public good. And um, looking around the nation, I, I, I think for whatever reason, we, we took it on head on and uh, worked in this very generous collaborative spirit. 
We were fulfilling the mission, the larger mission of the university, and very candidly showing the state that its state university could be incredibly impactful. This is going to go down as one of the most significant, most impactful things that our university has done. The contribution you have made to society can hardly be uh, really imagined. The people of Illinois can trust us and we'll be here when they need us. That's our role, that's our mission.